You already trust Cloudinary to handle your images, but did you know that Cloudinary can also do PDFs as well? Yes, you can upload your PDFs directly to Cloudinary, and then you can transform and optimize them just like images and deliver them reliably around the globe. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Node.js Cloudinary SDK to upload a PDF to your Cloudinary media library, and then apply some transformations and deliver it to your application. Okay, let's get to the demo here. I found this really cool PDF of an old Sony VCR manual, and so I think we should upload this to Cloudinary and then do some transformations on it. If we jump into the code, we'll start by importing the Cloudinary SDK from the Cloudinary NPM package. Then we'll configure the SDK with three variables, the cloud name, the API key, and the API secret. I've stored all these as environment variables, and so I'm just reading them from the environment and putting them here. Now, step one is to use the SDK to upload the PDF. First, I'll define a path on my system to where that PDF lives. Then we'll use the uploader.upload method provided by the SDK to upload the PDF. It accepts the path to the PDF and some arguments. In this case, we're just telling it what folder to store the PDF in and how to name it. We're just gonna use the file name as the public ID of the PDF in Cloudinary. And finally, after the upload finishes, we'll receive a response that includes the URL of the PDF hosted on Cloudinary. Let's run this in the terminal and see what we get. Running this in the terminal does show us a URL, so the PDF has been uploaded successfully. Let's check it out. Clicking on that URL opens the PDF in the browser. We can also check our Cloudinary Media Library to confirm it made it there as well. Clicking into the tab, you can see we do have our PDF uploaded to the folder that we specified. Now we can get started transforming it and delivering it to our users or our application. Now that we have the PDF uploaded, let's create a URL for this PDF and apply some transformations to it. In order to do that, we use the cloudinary.url method from the SDK, and we'll specify the public ID, including the folder name, of our PDF. Then we can use the transformation property to specify an array of different transformations. In this case, let's just grab page 27, which I think is particularly cool. After this runs, we'll log out the URL, and we'll see what we get. After running this in the command line, boom, we have our URL, and it looks like this a really cool illustration of old school VCR remote. Now you'll notice this isn't showing the entire PDF. This is only showing page number 27, which is what we asked for. So this is pretty helpful if you wanna, let's say, link to a specific part of your documentation or a document that you have stored on Cloudinary. And what's cool is this is all being generated from a single source PDF file. It's not storing individual pages of the PDF or duplicating this information. And what's even cooler is that all of these transformations are cached on Cloudinary CDN. This means subsequent requests will be faster because they'll be pulled from the CDN instead of having to go back and regenerate that transformation. And there you go. Now you know that you can manage your PDF documents just like your images through Cloudinary.